completely forgot to turn on my mic. How are you? <laughs> Hiya. Hey, Fiona. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the stream's barely started. I just got here. I had to go grab some water. Yordle. Hi, honey. It's 3 a.m. here, so I'm going to bed, but I hope you have an amazing stream and day. Much love. Oh, thank you so much, Yordle. Yeah, get some sleep. Um, <laughs> take it easy, okay? But yeah. Oh, howdy, everyone. Hey, thanks for greeting me. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm just... I had to update my password because I forgot that Twitch does a thing where you have to authenticate it every month, and uh, that's what kind of held me up for a bit. <laughs> Geeky Otaku, hiya! Hey honey, dropping by before bed? Aww, thanks! This will be a pretty casual and chill stream, so feel free to just go on off to sleep whenever it suits you. Um, but Captain Charlie Foxtrot, hey! Welcome, welcome! Nice to meet ya, and thanks for coming! Uh, Gobble Girl, yo, check Discord real quick. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're updating a couple things with the Discord because, um... Recently, a, couple, a bunch of VTubers have been sort of bot-spammed in Discord, so we're trying to upgrade the security and the um, the authentication, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Trash has really been awesome in taking care of that. Um, but yeah, the the Discord, it's not down, but it's uh, it, re it routes you to a weird page right now, and we're trying to fix that. Dreams, hi, welcome. Greetings, first time viewer, have to be here. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. You came for a good time. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna do art today, so we're gonna keep it pretty chill, casual. It's Monday, you know what? It, it's, the start of the week is always pretty rough, so we're gonna keep it, keep it nice and breezy. <laughs> Goblin King, I'm popping in for a moment, but I'm watching Gabby's stream, I'll catch you after there. Oh, totally, have fun at Gabby's stream. Um, Gabby's, uh, one of the people I made a VTuber model for, so I'm- I'm very happy with how it turned out. Looks real good. Uh, Fiona, I have a severe headache, but I refuse to not attend this stream. <laughs> Fiona, if you need rest, please rest. It's okay. You don't have to- you don't have to force yourself to sit through this. Like, it's totally fine. Goblin King! You're too generous. Thank you. Thank you for... <laughs> Wait, let me check something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, wow, I just hit 500 subs. Uh, <laughs> I guess I guess that means the hot tub stream is on its way at some point. <laughs> or the cauldron stream. <laughs> Willie goes, thanks for the hydrate. Let me take a sip. Mmm, tasty. LaCroix Boy, I've been working two jobs and have still not missed a stream. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired right now. Yeah, LaCroix Boy, you <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> um, ooh, good, good choice for a redeem. <laughs> Gotta warm up my ears a little bit. That's fun to do. That's really fun to do. <laughs> that guy, honey making money. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. <laughs> I was not expecting that many subs. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Thanks for that, Redeem. One sec. <laughs> um. <laughs> ara ara. Hmm. Wow, get, getting all the points right now. <laughs> Whoa, kept my word. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you, you really didn't have to. It's totally... <laughs> Dang it. I think I have to do that cauldron stream now. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll add, it, I'll add it to my list of things to stream. <laughs> Gecko, everyone's spending their dose <laughs> for their dose of gob me. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I could give you your uh, your weekly dose of gob made. It's healthy. It's healthy. Hanging out and doing some cute stuff. Good for mental health. Very good. 
egg altar, but you deserve them. Aw, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm still getting used to it. I I don't feel like I deserve it, but it's, it's good to know. <laughs> Gamble King, all right, see ya, bye. Thank you for dropping by and thank you for the sun. Uh, Fiona, how's the cauldron stream gonna work? Like, I keep hearing about it, but I'm not sure I was around to hear what it actually means. So, um, uh, someone suggested instead of a um, hot tub stream, which is now a tag on Twitch, um, I would just make a cauldron asset and take a take a hot soak in a cauldron instead of a hot tub, because you know, it's it's a little more suited to me. <laughs> Keter, cauldron stream, aka the honey pot. I, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Prez, hey! Here for a lurk, hope you have a great stream. Oh, thank you, thank you, Prez. I hope you have a good time. <laughs> Gamer, Goblin Gary, thank you for the posture check, I need it. Oh, man, I've been sitting a lot all day. Oh. Um, <laughs> Fair for 99 just got confirmed for a five day weekend. Whoa. And just flailed in combat against the Yeti. Nice, nice. Oh, enjoy that. Enjoy that long weekend. Uh, Goblin Gary, I must go lurk. But first... Yeah, the, the posture check. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. LaCroix Boy, I'm fine. I just woke up from a short nap. My new job is not nearly as easy as I thought it was going to be. Aw, well, I'm... <laughs> I'm glad you, you took a short nap. That's really good for you. Oh, I took a nap a while back. It was so nice. <laughs> Razor the Edge, Gobbo Soup Stream. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cook me in a pot. <laughs> Gobble Girl, random fun fact. The term for honeypot does not come from pots of honey. It comes from honeypot ants, which are ants which make candy as a food source. I have never heard of that. That's pretty cool. Gecko, how are the commissions coming? They're coming really well. Um, I only have a couple more people on my wait list and they're, they're, ugh, everyone's model is so interesting because like, the, I, I love anime VTubers. They look great, they're so pretty and so fantasy and I love them. Uh, but the people who are commissioning me, they're commissioning me really, really weird stuff. Like, not really weird, but like, out of the box stuff. Not typical anime VTuber stuff, and I'm loving it. Oh, I'm, it's it's so much fun. I love it so much. <laughs> Zorkon, hiya. How's it going? Gecko, nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm learning a lot as I am rigging because some of these VTubers are asking for things that I haven't done very often. Um, so I have to do a lot more testing and a lot more rigging, um, and I have to learn a lot more as I work on them, but it's so much fun. I love it. It's so great. Uh, Mithril, wait, what? Honeypot ants make candy with honey, so it's like bees puke, but instead ant? I'm confusion. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Um, <laughs> animals make weird things. A lot of them sweet. Gecko, should try one day. It's interesting how it works. It's very interesting. It takes a lot of patience. Um, it's not something you've done before, but it's so, so much fun. <laughs> I'm gonna adjust something real quick. Um, oops. <laughs> there we go. Ah. I just have to recalibrate the camera. Um, Cause it is a little high. I'm trying a new camera position to see if it picks me up. A little easier it picks my eyes up a little easier yeah okay that, that works better yeah there we go bogs on Tuesdays you've arrived congratulations you made it you made it good to have you here <laughs> True Cthulhu, how often are you going to take commissions and what are your rates? Um, currently my commissions are closed. Uh, <laughs> because uh, I have the max amount that I can do in about two months. I usually try not to schedule people for more than two months in advance. That way I can uh, gauge how fast I can make things. But I am finishing up my illustration terms of services. That's actually kind of what we're going to be doing today. 
um, I'm going to be drawing examples for what uh, my commissions would look like if for illustrations. LaCroix Boy, weirdly enough, I like that the job isn't easy and kind of stressful in a weird sort of way. Oh, that's good. It kind of challenges you, right? That's that's pretty good. I like, I like jobs that challenge me a little bit and make me think. Fiona, honey, I have two whole weeks back to back vacation. Whoa, I would love some more vacation time. <laughs> but yeah, after that, I have one week back to work and then a third week of vacay after that. Oh, wow, Fiona, you got plenty of vacay time. Oh, that's so good for you. Oh, I'm a little envious. <laughs> Mithril, oh, I see. It's still interesting to hear about. Oh, the 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 uh, honeypot ants? Gobble girl, because it's done in a special ant body. The ants themselves are edible, so like if you want ant candy, you can just chomp down. I have never heard of that, but they do sound tasty. <laughs> um, Dotty Dog and Stray Cat, welcome. Welcome, adventurers. Thank you for coming to this tavern. Gecko ant candy. Listen, I've seen ant candy inside of uh, a candy store. It looks weird, but it, it's more like gimmicky food because you can eat ants, you can eat bugs, and it's totally fine. In fact, I think it's actually good for you. It's like protein without all the cholesterol, so healthy. I really want to try eating crickets at some point. It's. I'm a little worried because their legs, when you actually like rub your finger on them, feel pointy. So I'm worried that it'll like catch on the inside of my mouth, but like they, they, they make such a cool crunch sound, like popcorn. <laughs> Mithril, many bugs have tons of protein. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard. That guy, so we should send you some of the candies with spiders in them? <laughs> okay, but spiders are good. Um, not, not to eat, but like as bugs, they don't bother me. I love spiders. They're, they're very important because they eat all the bugs that would normally eat our crops. Fiona, yeah, I'm hoping to start VTubing during my third week if all things are finished by then, but please don't feel pressured into rushing my stuff. It's more wishful thinking than anything else. Yeah, I'll do my best. Um, I am chugging away at it, uh, but I am currently working on one of the models that has been commissioned me. Uh, <laughs> commissioned for, no, for me? Commission that has commissioned me. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Uh, but yeah, I'm slowly chugging away at it. That guy, Honey Chama Cooking. <laughs> actually, I considered doing a cooking stream. I think it'd be fun. I just don't have the camera to actually set up a cooking stream. So I'll have to look into that. <laughs> Mr. Kate, Gabu, Gabby, yeah, Goblin. <laughs> Fleek. Bite the bed bug back to assert dominance. <laughs> I feel like at that point you'd just be eating it. Fiona, that's okay. I know you're always doing your very best. Yeah, I'm doing... <laughs> I'm doing so many things at once, y'all. I'm doing so many things. <laughs> oh. uh, Mr. Cake, don't break kayfabe, honey. What is kayfabe? Or kfab. Am I, am I mispronouncing it? Is this a new term I haven't learned? Uh, lyrical, serious question. Have you ever eaten a bug? Mm, probably without me knowing. Like, a bug might have been in my food and I could have eaten it. But, like, I have not actively um, <laughs> chosen a bug to eat. Uh, Mr. Kate, we need to think you're a goblin IRL. Ah, I see, I see. Breaking character. <laughs> Fiona, my kitty is licking my feet. Such a precious bean. Oh, Kitties are so good. Ugh, so, so good. I can't have a cat. Um, just because I don't have time to take care of one, but still. So good. But does Snipa, thanks for the hydrate. Excuse me. That guy, that guy, uh, K Fabe, pronounced K Fabi or Fabe. K Fabe is basically the E in media lore, usually used to refer to a story in wrestling. Oh, okay. VTubers are like wrestlers. Like I was, <laughs> I was talking to um, another VTuber, and he was like, "Yeah, the, the it's it's just like wrestling. 
Like, there's a story behind everyone, everyone's different, it's still entertaining, you don't break the immersion, and it's fun. It's fun. I think Gigguk also said it. Fleek, I've accidentally eaten a weevil because they laid an egg in the rice and I was eating. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. The only way to get rid of them is to shove your entire rice bag into the freezer and leave it for like a couple weeks. And then if you really want that rice, like pick it out individually. <laughs> I've tried that, it's a pain in the butt. Fiona, I read from a book that statistically you accidentally eat around eight spiders in your sleep during your lifetime. I'm not sure how I feel about this info. I don't know how true it is, actually. There's been a lot of, like, maybe if you live in a spider-infested area, um, but I, I highly doubt a spider is going to be like, yep, time to go live in this person's mouth. <laughs> uh, dreams. Oh, my kitty Nilin says hello. She <laughs> merp. But I was thankfully able to translate. Ah, oh, thank you. Say hi to your kitty for me. <laughs> Dreams. Okay, but when are you going to suplex the Undertaker? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Undertaker could take me in a fight. <laughs> Gecko. Yo, Russell v Super Match sounds awesome. It does sound pretty fun. I, w I would love to see someone animate a VTuber fight. Or just put some Smash Bros skins of the the opposing VTuber onto the Smash characters and just fight like that. I think that'd be really fun. Scarlet, the spider story is completely false, actually. It was disproven. Yeah, I thought so. Pretty sure spiders don't actively try to get in your mouth. Maybe bed bugs. <laughs> I don't know enough about bugs to be able to say this for sure. Rach, I've had fried bee larvae before. They kind of taste a bit like bacon. Hmm. Tasty. That does sound neat. Fleek, the Undertaker could not catch you since you can bonus action disengage. <laughs> yeah, that is, a, that is an extra feature I got. I can uh, disengage whenever I please. But also, if you punch me in the face, I'm pretty sure I'd just cry. <laughs> Ditto, there's an animation of Kurone boxing other VTubers. Really? Is it 3D or 2D? Because 3D I can understand. 3D is uh, easier to animate. Uh, <laughs> I was sort of imagining a 2D fight, which would take a lot more effort. Calyx, you can eat as many spiders as you want. Don't let the stats stop you. <laughs> Scarlet, bug buds are a nightmare fuel, honestly. Yeah, I don't want to... You ever looked at pictures of bugs zoomed in? It's not a pretty sight. It makes you scared to go to sleep. <laughs> Ditto, what did you send me? Oh, this... <laughs> That's a pretty good boxing match, actually. I'm just watching the video of Kurone um, fighting another VTuber. <laughs> if I get a 3D model, you can bet your butt I'm gonna animate something like this. <laughs> If I ever get a 3D model. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to drawing some stuff. Yeah, there we go. Get nice and close. <laughs> Maybe not that close. <laughs> there we go. Just making sure all the tabs are open. Nice. Nice. Philbert, hi honey, I got, a I got the job. Oh, nice, congrats. And just had my third day, but was heartbroken on the first day when I checked my phone at lunch and found out there was a stream I wasn't able to watch. Still happy I'm able to catch every stream I can. Aw, thank you, Philbert. Don't, don't sweat it if you miss a stream. It's totally fine. Life gets in the way. It's, it's, it's all good. Do not worry. <laughs> uh... But yeah, um, I'll show you all right now. I'm just uh, creating kind of a board of what my commission prices would be. So there's like a, if you want to see real close what my prices are right now. They are subject to change later though. <laughs> Dreams, the only good zoomed in bugs are moths. Okay, yeah, moths look really good when you zoom in. The Puka, welcome to the tavern. Thank you for joining us here. Um, but yeah, so basically today I just want to draw a sketch, uh, and then paper tone it, and then flat color it, and then full render it. 
or I'll just do uh, the sketches. Because that could be fun. But for now, let's warm up with an idea I had. Um, I got so many ideas and it just takes so much, so long to execute them. Why can't I draw faster? <laughs> Cobalt Salem, whoa! Hey, thank you for the, the three months subscription. Welcome, welcome adventure. I guess you'd be a regular now then. <laughs> but thank you so much. Fleek, no emotes commissions? Not at the moment. I thought about adding them, um, but I want to I wanna get those ones done first. Those are probably the, these are probably the easiest things to, uh, to not show, but like, yeah, probably to showcase. Um, emotes are also a good idea. I just haven't thought about them in depth currently. I will probably uh, open up emote commissions later on though. I'm not thinking too deeply just because I still have to do the live 2D models. And so it's a lot all at once. Uh. Irish Yasha. Irish. Oh, Irish Yasha. <laughs> I was reading the full thing like it was Japanese. Irish Yasha. Uh, that's the def definition of IRL. It gets in the way all the time. <laughs> yeah, life gets in the way, but you got a deal. Majid. Honey, how are you, hun? Gives her mucho head pats. Aww, thank you. I'm doing good. Just about to do some art. Uh, let's fix the background so you're not staring at an incredibly bright, bright screen, though. Uh, let's do... Rough. I don't... I know why, and it's a bit of a... <laughs> Thanks for the head pat, Fiona. Um, but I was watching Gobby Lynn's stream earlier today, and I was thinking about how <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> G Gabi, if you're here, be sh uh, feel free to explain what happened. <laughs> oh, these are nice. Hmm. <laughs> um, the head pass distracted me. They're, they're <laughs> it's magic. Um, but I made a joke where she gets her head pats from the hand tree where she has to cut off a, a hand flower <laughs> every time someone redeems the head pat emote. Uh, <laughs> So, um, I, I had the idea to draw a hand pot- a potted hand plant. And then if I had time, I would animate this hand animation, um, with my own hand. So, it could be personalized. I think that would be fun. Then again, I do have, um, Fiona's animation commissions I should- I should finish first, so. <laughs> that guy, you should sketch a sporty honey. That is not a bad idea, actually. Uh, real quickly though, I'm just gonna get this idea out of my head before I forget. Also warm up because my hand is not warmed up for drawing yet. Yeah, let's put some dirt in there. And then... Oof, yeah, my lines are looking little scratchy right now but that's okay that's okay I will fix them soon and then hey cryptid welcome to the tavern thanks so much for coming uh Fiona I would love to commission you for some emotes as well once I get going if you decide to open them by then yeah yeah totally I can't guarantee they'll be open um right when you need them but we shall see because right now I am fully booked until... I'm fully booked for the next six-ish weeks. Uh, <laughs> that's about how long it will take to finish all the model commissions I have. There's a there's someone just sent in another model commission, even though my commissions are closed. Um, so I'll probably tell them to either reapply or I'll see how long they're willing to wait. Because if they're willing to wait a little bit longer, then I can totally do it. Um, but I should probably close my commissions form because I don't want people applying and thinking I can do them right away. All right, gotta remember my hotkeys. Waldo, hand growing plant. Yeah, yeah, hand growing plant. Oof, there, there's a bunch of different, I love drawing hands. They're really hard to draw, but also like 
there's you can learn so much about a character from their hands. I'm gonna turn down the gain because my chair is squeaking so much. All right, can y'all hear me? Okay, is it going all right? Gobble girl. All right, I decided I should probably stop messing around with Carlbot because Trash has probably gotten got it, so I'm back. Nice. Yeah, Trash has been an absolute... Uh, Trash is one of my Discord mods. It's been an absolute joy. Absolute joy. So nice. Hi, Dragon Me Omega. Hope you're doing good. Onyx. List of things Honey needs to draw. Commissions, group shot of the tavern staff, whatever the hell she wants. Exactly. I do want to draw Onyx and, um, and uh, Trash's characters. <laughs> Because y'all have been so nice, and you're my mods. I should probably have like a group picture hanging behind us in the tavern. Let's draw a real creepy hand just for fun. Long fingies. Gobble girl, I just struggled so hard with hands on my drawing. Yeah, hands are tough. Um, there's a lot of weird anatomy to them that I even I can't fully explain. Like most of what I know is just like make a box and then draw fingers coming out of the box. Uh, Telefuerte has a real good, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but he has a really good video on how to draw hands. It's only like 30 seconds long. Pointy hands. Oof, this warm up is rough, but that's okay. Quiet? All right, all right. Let me turn it up a little bit. Here we go. Honey, you're not loud enough. Uh. Oh, I see, I see, I see the problem. All right, how's this? I turned down the game because my chair was squeaking way too much. I, st <laughs> I still haven't bought the oil I need for the chair. I don't even know if the chair can use the oil. It's just old. It's just an old chair. Calyx, hand and foot bones are flipping complicated, so it's no surprise wrapping them with muscles and skin doesn't make them any easier to draw. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, here's how I usually try to draw a hand. There's a box. Then you add the perspective to the box. Fix the perspective that you just messed up. There's the meat of the thumb. Draw a thumb. And then fingies. Middle finger is longer, like this. And then pinky is shortest. And then adjust because you messed up. That's an okay hand. That's an okay hand. It's passable. It's serviceable. That guy, you can oil a chair. Probably have to take it apart some first. Yeah. It, it's, it's one of those situations where I haven't had time. <laughs> Rage. Chairs are overrated. Just squat on a crate instead. <laughs> I tried switching over to uh, just a dining room chair, and it's fine. It's fine. But um, it's not great for posture. Like, it's it's got no back support, so it's not great if I'm just sitting there. It's quiet, but it's not great. Gobble Girl, T sent me a much better way to draw my froggy, so now once I'm done eating, because I don't like eating near my tablet, I'm gonna redraw froggy. Nice. Nice. Frogs are real fun to draw. I also love drawing Mickey Mouse hands. They're just hands, but round. I think Mickey Mouse only has three fingies. Yeah, three fingies sounds about right. You can draw many kinds of hands. They all look great. Gecko, who needs a chair? It's just, just air chair. It's more ergonomic. It's probably better for my heart. Uh, <laughs> sitting for long periods of time is not good for me. And since, oh, since last year, I've been sitting so, so much. I have not been happy with the amount uh, of time I've spent sitting down. <laughs> all right, those are pretty good hands though. Pretty good warm-up. Alright. Let's draw a rough pose. 
any suggestions for characters or just poses. I was planning on drawing uh, just, uh, excuse me, a pose of me, just cause it's my, it's easy. And it's also nice because then I can post it to Twitter. Fleek you dab. <laughs> That guy's sporty honey trying out for the goblet football team. Do you mean British football or European football or American football? Because there are two kinds. <laughs> Crass Chapman, monkey flip. <laughs> Gecko, a lizard? Zorkon, flying off the table. <laughs> Ditto, honey stuck in a slime. <laughs> Gobble girl, I want to see you draw Fleek's, <laughs> Fleek's character cold doing a backflip. How do I draw someone doing a backflip? Let's see, let's see, let's try this out. That guy, probably British footy to be fitting. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if I can draw cold from memory. I appreciate that cold has tied back hair. Makes it so much easier to draw. Uh, the ear chomps are on the other side. Ear chomps. This is still warm up. <laughs> Let's see, we got the, the bear belt. Whoa, Royal Rogue, hey, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Just doing some art. Right now I'm drawing uh, Fleek's character, Cold. I don't know how many digits Cold has, but I know it's at least three. Chest binder. Cold has a braid, but I don't remember what kind of braid it was. I think it was a classic braid. How do you draw a backflip? <laughs> Gobble girl, that's the most adorable version of Cold ever. I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> But yeah, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Fresh, we goblin in here? We're goblin, yep. All of us, we goblins in here. <laughs> hey, real rogue, how you doing? <laughs> let's see. Cross chat, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I shrink. I don't know why it does this every time. There we go. Oh. Is it kind of broken still? No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We're good. <laughs> Some ear wiggles for you. <laughs> Enjoy. Gobble girl, that is a contender too. I don't know which cuter. <laughs> tiny. <laughs> yeah. Honey, you got tinier than me. Yeah, yeah, you're short. <laughs> you're a shorty. <laughs> Actually, you would be a short stack, wouldn't you? <laughs> this savage chill and fresh and... Whoa, there's a lot. <laughs> Kangar, welcome to the tavern. Thank you all for joining us here. I also missed a couple. Anura of the Lily and the Major Freedom. Welcome to the tavern. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Sorry I missed the notification. Good to see ya. <laughs> Royal Rogue, the very small honey. <laughs> Sometimes I can shrink by accident. I don't mean to. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Cold has abs. Cold just always has abs. Forever and ever. Fiona, I am very much a short stack. 2'11. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, like, just, just the height alone already makes you a short stack. But, like, the curvy adds the extra short stackness. Let's see. How to, how to do a flip. Did I do it? <laughs> That's a flip, right? <laughs> uh, sorry, Cold, I didn't draw the extra poses, but I was, I'm not sure how to draw a flip. <laughs> All right, let me label that. There we go, Cold. Real rogue short stacks are S tier. They're really, <laughs> they're nice. They're nice. Uh, <laughs> Fleek, perfect backflip, as expected of Cole, uh, Cold the Barbarian. <laughs> All right. Uh. Whoa, Forbidden Soul. Welcome. <laughs> thank you so much for the hundred bits. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna be mean, but I legit thought you were Master Yoda for a second. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Like three people have said I looked like Baby Yoda when they first saw me in their recommendeds. <laughs> That's so me. Don't sweat it. <laughs> Straight because I saw that flip and had to fall. <laughs> I'm glad you like the flip. I very much like it too. <laughs> cool. Well, Yoda confirmed for Goblin. <laughs> I mean, like, he's the closest thing we can get for goblins in the Star Wars universe. I can't think of any other ones. Husky, bro, why is your laugh so cute? Aw. <laughs> Thank you. It's not It's not too squeaky for you. <laughs> Gekka, Yoda cosplay when? <laughs> in, am, am I not already Yoda? I have the ears? I guess I would just need to shave my head. <laughs> And then wear a brown cloak, so not too difficult. It's doable. Fiona, it's a perfect goblin laugh. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know I had a goblin laugh before, <laughs> before I started streaming. <laughs> Goodberg, too cute to be Yoda. Baby Yoda's pretty cute, though. I might be able to pull off baby Yoda. I don't have the big old black eyes, though. Dr. Blood. To be fair, this is also why I stopped to see what's going on. A little disappointed, no Yoda VTuber, but still very nice. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm sorry I'm not baby Yoda. You, you came here expecting Star Wars. You got D&D &D instead. <laughs> Alright, um, I should probably do a skit. All right, let's uh, keep it simple, keep it simple. I can't overthink this, otherwise it'll take forever to draw. Uh, stripey Ghost, Filthification, and Slime with Teeth. Welcome to the tavern. Thank you so, so much for dropping by and taking a seat. Hope you relax. Have a good day. Let's see. Big old, big old goblin ears. Big old. Do all goblins have big eyes, actually? Most of the ones I've been drawing and uh, rigging do have big old eyes. <laughs> Blood, Dr. Blood, DD, Star Wars, is there really a difference? I guess not. <laughs> I mean, like, if you could still play RPGs with both of them. Crash Chapman, all you have to do is the Lego Yoda death screen. <laughs> Wait, let me look that up. Lego Yoda death sound. Wait, let me let me listen to that again. That's pretty funny. 
Uh, Crimson Void, 15k bits for a full stream of head pats. That's a lot of head pats. Are you sure you want to spend 15k on just head pats when you could instead spend 1.5k on like three minutes, maybe even two, two to three minutes of head pats? Spread it out <laughs> instead of spending it all at once. Savage Chill, I was just about to play a Star Wars game, then I heard that. <laughs> Spooky coincidence. How's it going, by the way? Going pretty good. Uh, I'm just uh, drawing up some roughs to put as examples for my commissions page. Commissions are currently closed because I'm full and I don't want to take on more than I can handle. But uh, in preparation for next time, because a lot of people have been asking for my com illustration commission prices, so neat. Um, but just so I have them ready. Also, you know, it's, it's, sometimes I use my streams for work. And this is work. Slime with teeth. If I learned anything from Magic the Gathering, it's that goblins can look like anything. They can, honestly. It's, it's kind of amazing how varied you can make a goblin and it still registers as goblin in your brain. Gecko, OMG, why is your laugh so adorable? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm glad it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Fire Fist of Sex, it's a gobbo. Someone called Goblin Slayer. No, I'm a knight. I'm... Why would you call the Goblin Slayer on me? He just needs some hugs. But also, I don't want to be the one to do it because it sounds dangerous. <laughs> what if I do like the cat mouth? <laughs> cat mouth. <laughs> Fiona, I've noticed that feral goblins usually have smaller eyes than us civilized gobs. Oh, really? That's kind of neat. I haven't seen that many feral gobs, to be honest, though. Uh, <laughs> only a couple forest gobs, and they, they didn't look too different from my experience. How ba la ba bo bo <laughs> Oh, hey, how goes the stream? Going well! Thanks for dropping by! Gruntled Seraph, welcome to the tavern. Thank you for dropping by. But yeah, we're just doing some art. Cold is feral and has big eyes, though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Goblins can, goblins can look like almost anything. Like, even have different colored skin, they'd still be gobbos. Cobble girl, I volunteer as tribute to hug the goblin slayer. That's so dangerous, though. He got a sword. Some coyote, he just doesn't have cute gobbos in this world. Yeah, yeah, he just needs to meet some nice gobbos. Face those prejudices he's got. Savage chill. Well, to be fair, I doubt a feral gob would pay their bar down. <laughs> They'd have to in my bar. Because <laughs> in my tavern, um, you can either pay with artifacts and items, or you can pay with gold. Both are good. Both are very good. <laughs> I was about to leave the top empty and just make it look like I have a bit of a mullet. Zilrin, welcome to the tavern. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Good to have you here. Zorkon, does born and underdark count as civilized? I think so. Civilized, like, in my mind, just means, like, you... You have respect for other people. And you, you have a, some form of cultural mannerisms. That's what civilized means in my book. So it's hard not to be civilized. Yeah, because I got my first impression of goblins from World of Warcraft, so I expected them all to have New York accents. <laughs> hey, I'm walking near. Just a three-foot goblin yelling at a human. <laughs> Dreams. Is there such a thing as bad gobbo? Like, yeah, I could be stabbed by one, but that'd be on me. I think there could be- there's such a thing as bad gobbos, but like, a lot of gobbos are just mischievous. So, not quite the same thing. I don't know why I drew myself as a cat. <laughs> I should not make it do a cat pose. I'm gonna change pens. I don't like drawing with the super clean pen right from the get-go. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel right. <laughs> Real rogue. Hey, forget about it. <laughs> K 
Calyx. I mean, there's a bad, there's, just like there's bad people, yeah, but metrics by which they'd be judged are very different. I think so, yeah. It might be just a case of like, you know how chihuahuas are the least well-behaved animals? Um, because everyone says, oh, they can't do any damage. There's no point in training them to be well-behaved. First off, bad dog owners. Second, um, I guess if people don't see you as a threat, they don't treat you with respect sometimes, like almost infantilize you, but like, don't infantilize adults. That's, that's rude. That's disrespectful. Fleek, are you saying Cold is a bad gabo? <laughs> Fiona? No, Cold's a, Cold's a great gabo. Cold is a great gabo. <laughs> Waldo, gabos are basically chaotic neutral or chaotic good. Yeah, yeah. Morality is weird when it comes to gabos. Oh, I like this pen so much more. Let's see, what should I draw? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's, cha let's change that line of action right there. <laughs> I just imagined uh, Gabo sitting at the beach. It reminds me of Eeyore now. Zorkon, guess I'm a feral Gabo and slightly evil. I just like mischief. Mischief is fine. Like, not super harmful. Mischief is fine. Ah, uh, one sec. Alright, awesome. The Discord has been updated, so let me fix that real quick. Uno momento. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're back. We're back. Um, I just had to update the Discord because uh, Trash is so kind to send me another link, so it works now, or it should work now. Oops. Yay, there we go. There we go. Ha. Back to art. Uh, in Ari Fox, I study yokai. I'm all over mischief. Mischief? Yeah. The... <laughs> How do you study mischief, I wonder? Do you have to practice it? Are there like assignments on being what on levels of mischievous you must reach? Fiona, I once served ale to a sea of goblin. Her skin was blue and she had gills and webbed hands and feet. That sounds really cool. Like a mer goblin. Bap it up. Why are your eyes closed? Because I am looking down at my, my screen so that I can draw art very nicely. I'm focusing. I'm focusing real hard. Um <laughs> Also, the camera I have, um, I'm still working on the setup. I'm trying different camera angles so that I can see which one works to keep my eyes open. Actually, there is one more I could try. If y'all want to be patient with me. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try adjusting the camera one more time. See if it helps, because I have a stand for it. Apologies for the noises in the background. This might work a little better. No guarantees. couple things around. This is kind of one where I wasn't sure if it was a good idea, but... Quite the same. Maybe if I move my stuff back. <laughs> I'm just setting things up at this point. Here we go. This should work a little better. We'll see how this goes. Thank you for being patient and letting me try out new things. There we go. All right. <laughs> no matter what I do, there's gonna be some sort of host of issues with the camera. Salem, as a kobold, I resent the insight to mischief comment, but recognize how accurate it is. <laughs> We're mischievous. If you're short, you're usually mischievous. It's a bit of a generalization, but. Crash Catman, I first learned a lot about goblins from Joe Cat's D and D crap guides. Yes, that's what he calls guides, and I didn't know you can make goblins look cute. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty neat. You can do different things with them all the time. Uh, but yeah, I love Joe Cat's videos; they're great. Ride the flame. Thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> uh, Bimmy Burner, Blue Bomber. Uh, and Recycled Doom! Welcome to the tavern! Thank you so much for coming! Hikaru VT! Hey! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, waiters! I hope you're having a good time. I'm just doing some art real quick. Drawing a little relaxed gobbo. Zoom in a little closer. Hehe. <laughs> I love drawing goblin proportions. They're so much fun. Maybe I'll draw like a beach outfit. That could be cute. Tai Chi B, she's willing art into existence using her mind. <laughs> yeah. Jay Sattel, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a good day. Blue Bomber. Hi there, I'm new here. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Just catching up on chat real quick. Why not Tony? Welcome. Welcome to the tavern. Uh, Fire, your model reminds me of that time I was re reincarnated as a slime. That is a good anime. It's a very good anime. Excuse me. <clears throat> Wolfsbane. Murgoblin sounds like the Giblin from World of Warcraft. I still haven't played World of Warcraft. <laughs> Diona. Oh, gee, honey, you disappeared. Yeah, I disappeared. I had to adjust this real quick. All right, let's catch up. In anime. Hi, Goblin. How goes the animation? The animation's pretty good. I'm. Uh, I. <laughs> I made a head pad animation a while back, and it's pretty. It's going pretty well. But I had to put it on hold for commissions, so it's on its way. But not as soon as you'd think. He <laughs> gob. <laughs> gob. <laughs> Keter, hi honey, I can't watch today, unfortunately. Have a good stream. Oh, thanks for dropping by, Keter. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so I'm so glad you could visit for a bit anyways and say hi. Gecko, one piece swimsuit or piece? Uh Gobble Girl, how to draw feet from top? Good question. I don't actually know the answer to that. I usually uh 
<laughs> I kind of guess with feet a lot of the times. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> Cat lips. I got thick eyebrows. Very thick eyebrows. <laughs> it's anime. Take your time. I'll make you proud of my animations one day. Oh, I'll have, um, if you're in the Discord, for sure, share the animations. Otherwise, like you can totally link me to your Twitter and I can check it out. I love looking at animations. They're so, so much fun. They're so cool to look at, too. Tempestus Husky, welcome to the tavern. Thank you so much for dropping by. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, my hair. It's a little uncontrollable sometimes. Nightmare Juniper, adorable gob. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's anime. I got nothing yet. I've been on my main cartoon for three years. Whoa, that's a long time to be working on a cartoon. Is it like a like a short short uh, short film? Husky, you're wholesome and I like your art. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Gecko, just cross her arms and she'll look like she's mad. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I was thinking I was gonna um, make her put her hands in the sand. Just a little mound of sand to make a uh, sand castle. I used to make sand castles with my family whenever we went to the beach. It was so nice. It's been so long since I visited my family. Or at least my, my extended family. Finding Equilibrium! Welcome to the tavern! Thanks so much for coming! <laughs> Fleek, the curse of goblin hairs and that that and weak hair ties. Yeah, weak hair ties can get out. Don't need them. Crimson boy, gobble goes sploot. <laughs> Just having some fun in the sand. Sand is surprisingly hard to draw. Let's see. I have to remember to sit up a little bit. Hmm. I'll probably draw a two piece just because that's a bit easier to draw. Toes. Feet are hard to draw. I'm not an expert at drawing feet. I just know they're like stubbier hands. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what the feet look like, right? That's a foot. Put a little flag in the castle because that's very important. Zorkon, my crowning achievement as a goblin is a murder in Menzo Berenzan and successful escape. Congrats on your escape. <laughs> Murder bad, but good good job. <laughs> Gobble girl, all my hair ties are weak and it's sad. Oh yeah, this. <sighs> well, at least it means you have nice thick hair. That's good. Fiona, I don't like sand. That's fair. It gets everywhere. It's just nice whenever you can shove your hands into the nice big pile of sand. Yeah, that anatomy looks pretty good. There's a knee here somewhere. And then bathing suit here. Gail Rice, welcome to the tavern. Thank you for coming. Mango, does anyone remember the name of that cartoon on YouTube that had the cowboy and the spider chick? I can't think of it. Uh, oh, um, something gul gorge or something gulge, gulch. Gulch. 
it was an indie animation. Long Gone Gulch is not the one, but that is a very good pilot. It's very good. It's fun to watch. Uh, oh, it's called Cliffside. That's what it's called. It was done about three years ago. Wow. Omar, Cliffside, I think. Yeah, you're right, Cliffside. Omar, a goblin making a sandcastle sounds cute. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it looks real good. Maybe I'll put a little hat. You know, gotta protect those ears. Let me get a witch hat, because <laughs> why not? <laughs> I love witch hats. Remember when I was a kid, I wanted to be a witch so bad. I just didn't have the aptitude for it. So I became a bard instead. Bards are great too, you know? <laughs> this is cute. I'm, I am Elijah Jera. Welcome to the tavern. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Azure gun. Whoa, I love the stream setup. Thank you. Thank you. I made the assets myself. Gilrice. Hey, I love your avatar. You're adorable and the animation is so smooth. Great job. Thank you. I made it myself. I'm really glad it turned out so good. Fire, Spooder Girl is best girl. Yeah, she's fun. <laughs> she's real fun. Uncle Yokai, witch hat? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna wear a witch hat. <laughs> listen, listen. Even if I can't actually be a witch, aesthetically, I want to dress up like a witch. A sandwich gobbo. Waldo. <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> But listen, like, witch hats actually offer really good protection against the sun, so... The witches are pretty smart. Savage Chill, do you mean the loot-playing bards or polymorph into a dragon bard? Isn't that... Isn't that a, uh... Druid? Not a bard? <laughs> um, I'm more of the, uh... Cook a meal sort of bard. Or do some art uh, sort of bard. Yeah, that's a good picture. Let's see. Now, let's do a correction round. Because flipping the art really does expose all of the things that need correcting. Alright, let's see. Probably make the silhouette stronger. Like, push it out a little bit. Probably keep the feet about the same. Anatomy here. there. I could probably push this a little bit more. So the foot is here. Yeah, that's probably a bit better. Fiona, you should hook up with my wizard friend Mona. She loves giant witch hats too. Just don't drink any of her potions. Oh, I won't. I'm very wary of potions. A lot of weird stuff gets traded in here and I'd rather not drink it. Fleek, big hat to protect yourself from sunburns? Exactly. You keep Fleek gets it, yeah. It's aesthetic and good sun protection. Remember to wear sunscreen outside. Now this ear should be lower. This ear should also be a little bit lower. You can lower the hat a little bit. And then maybe cut off a little bit of the top here. Just good that the hat can sit a bit lower. Oh, just a wonderfully big witch hat. I would love that. I would love a huge witch hat. Goblin King, yeah, ear wiggle. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you, Kobold, or Salem. I don't know why I said Kobold first. <laughs> Let's see. Thanks for that, Salem. <laughs> Ditto, make a potion peach flavored and I'll drink it no questions asked. I mean, if it's tasty, at least your last drink will be very, very tasty. 
<laughs> Krimbos kills goblet hat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fire fist of sex and dark sauce. Welcome to the tavern. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Gecko, if I learn one thing from Souls game is that someone wearing a giant hat means he has a good spell to give and will probably go insane. Yeah, that poor wizard. That poor man. I liked his hat, though. Big Hat Logan was cool. <laughs> Cobalt, Salem. I gotta. Dem ears are too good. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know why more people don't wear witch hats. They're so practical when you're at the beach. Or just out on everyday wear. Social distancing. If you're near someone's witch hat, you're too close. It just makes sense. Alright, uh, <laughs> I gotta finish up these corrections before I get too distracted. <laughs> Alright, the face looks pretty good. I wonder if I can push it lower to make it cuter. A little art hack, if you push the features to the bottom of the face, it looks cuter. Not always. Sometimes good proportions are great, and they make it look even better. Yeah, no, I think the original proportions I had were really good. <laughs> Dark Sauce, happy to be here. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> Goodberg, if the hat brims are touching, you're too close. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Get some, get some space. Gecko, probably because you can't see 70% of the time <laughs> because of the hats. That is probably the one downside. Fiona, I have the hat of disguise that has a wide rim and helps against the sun. Probably helps to cover uh, most of what how you look though, too. Mr. Azurukun and Iggy Wee. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the tavern. <laughs> Circus Crow. Hello. Hiya. How's it going? <laughs> Goblin King. This is what we're looting now? Not so much looting. Just because you wear a bane suit doesn't mean you lewd. We're just admiring the cuteness. I love drawing cute things. I'm also just fixing uh, anatomy right now. So I can make the pose a little bit stronger. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Bathing suit. It's hot. We're gonna draw some beach, uh, <laughs> some beach art because I can't actually go do beach right now. So I can imagine. I can just imagine it. The nice heat. Oh, it'd be great. It'd be so good. <laughs> oh. Gecko, cute things are cute. Exactly, cute things are cute. Here now, I'm playing Skyrim right now and I'm stuck on a rock in the middle of the river with wolves ag aggroed me on shore, so I'm using this to level up my alteration. <laughs> Hopefully the wolves don't get you. Gecko heat? Yeah, I know, right? Ugh, it's almost like it's summer. <laughs> I guess in some places, like, our summer is their winter, so it's dark. Or darker. Mango, what kind of honey do you prefer? Any special flavored honey or just good old original? Good old original is real good. I haven't tasted- I've tried, like, buckwheat honey and lavender honey. And to be honest, I haven't really tasted a difference. Um, unless you actually add lavender to the honey, I don't taste the difference. Like people are like, oh yes, the bees only the bees only harvest pollen from the lavender flowers, and I'm like, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> My palate is not um, that well honed. I just know when things taste good, they taste good. <laughs> the circus crow. Hey, thanks for coming. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay. But yeah, all right, let's, that's pretty good anatomy checks. Let's do the clean. That's how you spell clean. An R in it. There we go. Turn this down a little bit. Let's make it darker so that I can see what the actual changes were. Okay, yeah, yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Lily goes, man, the drawings look real good. Oh, thank you. My 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 style of drawing isn't as like detailed as like Yoklesh, who's excellent at rendering. Um, I, I'm I like working on the poses. The rendering style is not 
intensely complex, but still. It's still very fun to draw. So this would probably be a rough, the current one I'm doing. In terms of commission prices, this would probably be only like, 15-ish mm, dollars, depending on the complexity. I like drawing roughs. It means I don't have to clean up as much. Um, allows me to go a little, a little more ham in terms of the drawing style or the pose. But if I have to render it, I have to keep a lot of things in mind. Gobbleo, whoa, cheap? Are you serious? Yeah, that's the current price. I'm not sure if it's going to stay the same. Um, but like for something quick like this that's not cleaned up, yeah, probably only 15 bucks. Because it would only take me about an hour to an hour and a half to draw. So, yeah, maybe closer to an hour. If you wanted something more detailed and colored, then it'd probably be more expensive. But the prices aren't fully set yet. That's the initial price I'm thinking of. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to look at what other people are selling their commissions for. Um, because if I sell mine for a lower price, I may attract more customers. However, uh, my time might not be, I might not be getting compensated for the amount of time I'm working. So I have to check on other people first. Fiona, as a goblin, do you like traditional goblin mushrooms? The one that are nearby goblin villages grow qu are quite tasty and fetch quite a high price depending on where they're sold. Ooh. I, <laughs> as long as they're not poisoned, mushrooms are great. Gecko, then when she asks me, I'm just like, tastes like food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't taste super, super different things. Uh, Yokai, they say art imitates life, so that means when Honey draws cute things, it means she's cute. Aww. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Gecko, I have a friend like that. She has super strong taste buds and can easily describe the taste of it. Fleek, you're underselling your art, Honey. I, I think I am. Um... <laughs> So I'll, I'll probably have to adjust my prices. But like when I made the $15 the lowest price, um, that was very much like a minimum. But if y'all if y'all think this is worth more, I, I will charge more. I am trusting you. <laughs> the nice thing about uh, art is if you feel like the artist is underselling them, it's nice to just leave a little tip. It's really, it's really fun to leave artists tips whenever I do commissions. Just makes them feel good. <laughs> Gobble girl, I feel like even this rough is worth more, way more than 15. Really? Maybe like 25? <laughs> I'm very new to commissions. Um, I had never actually opened commissions prior to, <laughs> to streaming. So... If my prices seem a little strange, it's because uh, I don't know my worth yet. But I'm getting there. Because yeah, my thought was like 15 for a rough where I don't have to clean it up. So it would probably be about this sketchy. Goblin King, I think we might... <laughs> have just a slight amount of bias to be fair. Gecko, $25 max. <laughs> Makes sense. The client and the and the artist sometimes have disagreements over prices. But yeah, I, I like I for something with color, it would cost more. Um, for a rough like this where I don't actually have to clean up tangents and stuff. Yeah, 15 to 25 would probably be better. But that's just me. If you feel like your art is worth more, then for sure, charge more. Do not do not base it off of my pricing because I am uh, I am uh, not great at pricing my, my work. <laughs> Mango, honey, you ever uh, going to do that drawing of Shrek in a virgin killer? <laughs> I bet a lot of money. <laughs> People with money would pay a good price for that. <laughs> Maybe. 
I might draw that curse drawing one day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo guys, sorry about that. I, I missed your headpats. I was too busy laughing at Shrek and a Virgin Killer. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Gobble Kling, how did how did I miss this? <laughs> have a low I'm just gonna call you Bobo, sorry. Bobo, looks like she's in the middle of getting a head pat. Yeah. I adjusted the camera, so we're gonna have to see see how it works. If I lean forward, my posture gets bad, then the, the camera stops being able to pick my pick up my expressions. Yokai, why draw Shrek and a Virgin Killer? Do a Speedo. No, 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 no. Virgin Killer. I, I'm sure there's already art of Shrek and a Speedo, but I haven't seen a Virgin Killer Shrek yet. I must be the one to draw it. <laughs> I came up with the idea. Cursed as it may be. <laughs> Kimmy Spice, um, Turin Stardew, and Atsumori Kofu Hara. Welcome to the tavern. <laughs> Thanks for coming at the most opportune time while we talk about Shrek and Virgin Killers. Gobble Girl, we need monsters and Virgin Killers stream. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm already planning my next subathon, and I'm like, hmm. Do I try playing Dark Souls from the beginning, or do I just do a stream where I try <laughs> monsters and virgin killers? Or why not both? Uh, Waldo, oh, I don't exactly know what a virgin killer is, but I think it's a that open sweater. Yeah, it's a sleeveless, backless dress sweater. So it just covers the neck, the front, and the butt. <laughs> D Dr. Blood cursed? I think you mean blessed. <laughs> Viridu, Kimi Spice? Yeah, I think Kimi Spice just followed. <laughs> Mango blurst. <laughs> That's a new word. <laughs> Thorn, ah, Dark Souls. I really ought to finish that someday. It's really, really fun. Gobble Girl, I need to see a basilisk and a virgin killer. <laughs> I need it to live. I wouldn't mind drawing a basilisk in a virgin killer. It, it wouldn't be too hard. I think it'd be fun. Fiona, what if you play Dark Souls in a virgin killer? Oh, that is not a bad idea. <laughs> oh, the virgin killer is too powerful. <laughs> Bear fan in. Oh man, how many pairs of legs does it go go down? Um, I think it stops at like the upper thigh. I think I actually need to move this head a little bit more forward. So let's just draw the head first. Actually, I like the this one for yeah. Nice, big triangular shapes for hair. Oh, heck yeah. Let's see, now the bangs. Gobble Girl, they meant on a basilisk. Oh, oh, good point. Isn't a basilisk like a, a big snake? I'm thinking of the Harry Potter bas basilisk. Maybe I'm mistaken. You okay, Dark Souls wearing a virgin killer in a hot tub. <laughs> Triple threat. Fleek. Virgin killer, but it's an axe that does double damage on people without a significant other. <laughs> These are some good ideas. Yiggs. How would a centaur wear pants? Uh, a centaur would wear pants just on the bottom half. Sorry, my roommate's grabbing a snack real quick. <laughs> uh, Gobble girl. I mean D&D &D basilisk, and so they... So do they, like... Big scaly dog with eight pairs of legs. Oh. I think I'd have to think more about that then. 
<laughs> if, if something has multiple legs and I have to think about which pants it goes on, I don't know how a virgin killer would even work. Kitsudon and Elixir Art. Welcome. Welcome to the tavern. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Gobble girl, it turns things to stone. Oh, really? I thought I... Maybe I'm, I'm thinking of a cockatrice, maybe. <laughs> Dumbity dumb. <laughs> good redeem. Good choice. <laughs> hey, sugar. How's it going? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, let me back up real quick. <laughs> um, Gobble Girl. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You owe me a hay sugar. Oh, I do! Right! I remember that. You redeemed it right at the end of my stream last time, I think. But, uh, just for Gobble Girl. <laughs> Let's see. I have to calm down real quick. Hey, sugar. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks, Gobble Girl. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Onyx Cove in the background going <laughs> Yeah <laughs> You can hear the fridge opening <laughs> <laughs> Whoops <laughs> I think she's eating like crackers or sandwiches or something <laughs> Please say hi to her for us Cool, they say hi. <laughs> uh, Yoka, hey sugar and RR always makes honey giggly. It really does. Like, honestly, putting me on the spot makes me really giggly all the time. Ever since I was a kid, I was like, attention really made me nervous, so. Now I just have to laugh in order to not feel nervous. Uh, that shouldn't connect there. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, there we go. Bang's done. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Good for the head. Uh, now I gotta try the hat. Onyx honey be honey being makes honey giggly. <laughs> I exist and I laugh. My own existence is a joke and I love it. <laughs> Fiona, sudden boop out of nowhere. Boop. Boop! <laughs> I love that noise. Boop! Gobble Girl, also honey on the basilisk. Um, the virgin killer, it go backward. Does it? Let, okay, real quick. Let me look up a... Uh, the and D &D. Oh, okay. I, I see. Yep. They're eight armed lizard things. Okay. A, a virgin killer and a basilisk might look a little different. <laughs> I was thinking like the Harry Potter snake. So, my mistake. Gobble girl, just put it on the back instead with, of the legs or have the legs wrap around out the edges. Maybe, yeah. I, there's a lot of options with that. <laughs> I got a lot of ways I could draw it. Gecko, oh god, I thought about the worst. <laughs> what do you mean you thought about the worst? What did that mean? <laughs> Fiona, I wonder if there's a way to implement a boop as a redeem reward, like a head pad or an ear wiggle. Hmm. What would a boop redeem look like? Would it just be like a head pat, but instead like the Facebook poke button appears above my nose? <laughs> Gecko, necromorph from the dead space and a virgin killer. Oh no. <laughs> now I just thought about the alien from Alien and a virgin killer. Not only is that terribly detailed, and I do not want to draw something that detailed <laughs> just for the meme. But also, I could commit to the meme and draw it real detailed. I have options, man. Well, hey! Don't 
booty. <laughs> Cove just walked up to me and booed me for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Mango, what about now stay with me here? What about Wario in a virgin killer? Oh, that's extra cursed. <laughs> Gecko, I think uh, Virgin <laughs> the Virgin Killer Z Xenomorph is already a thing. Oh, okay. Yokai, you're lucky someone already drew a Xenomorph and a Virgin Killer. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness I don't have to be the one. <laughs> Fleet Cove's doing God's work. <laughs> yeah, she's making a sandwich in the background of my stream. <laughs> oh. Alright, let let's, let's work on this hat before I get too distracted. You know, for a beach goblin, Cove burns surprisingly easily. She's got like three different types of sunscreens. There we go. Yeah, I think that works as the hat portion. Let's draw the back. Gobble girl, make this drawing an emote. <laughs> I could. Um, I think it's a little too big. Like if I were to try to get the hat in there, it would be a little too big for an emote. Let's see. Gotta scrunch it a little bit more. There we go, okay. Yay. Onyx, do you think you'll ever give Hollow Knight a go? Also, what do you think of Wizard with a Gun? Okay, Onyx, Onyx, I love Wizard with the Gun. I love the animation. Also, Hollow Knight, my absolute favorite 2D platformer. So, so good. So, such a good game. Uh, <laughs> but Wizard with a Gun looks like so much fun. Because I've, I've played Don't Starve, and it's really fun with friends. Um, Wizard with a Gun just looks like D&D Don't Starve. <laughs> so, I really, really want to play it. I think it looks so, so fun. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, Swerty, thanks for the headpads. Let me grab those real quick. Uh, come on, VTube Studio, work with me here. Alrighty. It don't want to work with me. No, no, VTube Studio, why? Why would you do this to me? No, VTube Studio, why? There we go, okay. I don't know why, but it took a good second to actually get this set up. There we go. Good headbands. And, oh, Gabby Gobo, hey, how's it going? How was your stream? Also, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> ah, excuse me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> girl, it, it don't need the hat for the emote. Yeah, I guess it's just a cute face. <laughs> I'm gonna move up a little bit. There we go. Savage kill. How about a beholder and a virgin killer? <gasps> that could be fun. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh, so many good monsters in a virgin killer. Mithril, I adore Hollow Knight. I really want to buy the special edition from their site. It's so good. I absolutely, my favorite, favorite section of that game is Green Path. Visually and musically, oh, it's the best. The absolute best. My favorite. I love green. <laughs> Gabby Gabo, stream was good. The model is so much fun. I just need to get the mouse sensitivity figured out. Oh yeah, the mouse sensitivity is a weird thing. Um, it's different for everyone. Um, it took me like a week of fiddling just to get the mouse settings right. And then VTube Studio did an update. And then my mouse settings had to change all over again. So you got this, you got this. If you have any problems with the model, for sure, just let me know and I can do some edits. Like if the mouth isn't opening. 
I can, I can do my best to fix it. Mango, Darth Vader and a Virgin Killer. Now would it be like without armor? Would he just be like naked except for the, the head mask? Or would it be like a Virgin Killer on top of the armor, but no cape? There are, there are possibilities we got here. <laughs> Good bird, the head pats sustain us. <laughs> Mithril, if I had to say a favorite song, that would have to be Hornet's Fight theme, and it's actually the game's main theme. Oh, really? I didn't know it was the main theme. But yeah, Hornet fights are real fun. Let's see. I love witch hats. They're my favorite kind of hats. Aside from big old sun hats. But that's just because those are modern day witch hats. Oh, if I could go to a beach with a witch hat, I would be so happy. But <laughs> Mithril, who's your absolute favorite boss in the whole game, honey? Oh, for, for Hollow Knight? Probably... Hornet's fights are really fun. I love the broken vessel, though. Um, it's, it's very satisfying. Um, I think there... In my brain, there's kind of two broken vessels. There's the first one you fight... Um, right where you get the double jump. That's a really good fight. But then there's the actual final boss, and that's really, really fun. I like them. Soul Reaper, but what about wizard hats? Also good, also good. But do they have the wide brim that a witch's hat does? Mango, honey, you should draw all these virgin killer suggestions to put them in a book and sell it. <laughs> Just make it like a virgin killer zine. I think that'd be pretty fun. Scion Eon, hey, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Sorry, I missed it. I was too busy thinking about virgin killers. <laughs> uh, Drago Gun, thanks for the posture check. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? Just just for funs, just for funsies. Uh, Zorkon, why don't I leave the head pats on while I give the hay sugar? <laughs> hey, sugar. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Gabby <laughs> uh, <laughs> Gabo, Dung Defender, best boy. Dung Defender is great. That's a good fight, but also, like, good story, good lore. Onyx, have you seen the video for Sea of Thieves where they cross over with Pirates of the Caribbean? It looks so good. Ooh, I haven't seen it. I haven't really checked out much from E3. Um, just because I, <laughs> I've been at work today, so I haven't been able to watch any E3 stuff. So, it, I'll probably check out, like, highlight reels. If, or, like... I know, I know Rubber Ross was streaming them, so I've kind of been trying to watch a couple of those. But E3 just looks funny this year. <laughs> Yokai, Aboleth and a Virgin Killer. Aboleth. I'll have to look up what that looks like. Fiona, would you like to play Dar DST together once I start streaming? That would be so fun. What's DST? D oh, don't starve together. Oh. <laughs> I think it'd be fun if we got a bunch of like other, <laughs> other goblins as well to play. I think that'd be pretty neat. Gabby Gabo, when you're done streaming, I need to ask how to change em emotions. Oh, yeah, totally. I can help you out with that. No sweat. It occurs to me that uh, not not everyone knows how to do that, and I should, probably should have included that in my email. I'm terribly sorry, Gabby. Gabby, my bad. Fleek, the Aboleth are fish elder gods. Oh, I thought they sounded familiar. They reminded me of a, a race in... Um... Oh, what is that book called? The really, the really weird horror books. The Necronomicon. Eh, I don't remember right now, but that's okay. Yeah, let's push the head out a little bit more. Let's draw the body now. Bud. Fiona, Milty Goblin stream, let's go! Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. I finally got, I finally got my first collab done and over with. Um, I learned a lot from it. I had a good time. 
uh, and I, I think I'm, I'm getting pretty close to being ready to do more collabs. I don't know how much time I have to do a whole bunch of collabs. We'll see, we'll see. But I think it'll be fun. It's fun to hang out with other people. Anatomy. Anatomy. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. I don't know why I'm cheering this on like a sport. <laughs> let's make these a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. Onyx, I've tagged the trailer for you in gaming chat. Oh, thank you. Goblin King, Necro Gobli Goblicon. <laughs> uh, biscuits, 100 Gobbo stream. Let's go. There's a lot of Gobbos. I don't think there's a hundred, but there's an awful lot <laughs> of Gobbos. <laughs> Mithril, when you're done, you will never be the same person ever. The saws, you will hallucinate the saws. What saws? <laughs> what, what are we talking about? <laughs> Kaiosan, welcome. Welcome to the tavern. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'll get rid of this. There we go. Scion, a nice laid back stream view. Is This is what I need after the game I played. It was too scary. Oh no. <laughs> Understandable. Game. This is a good stream to chill out to if you played a scary game. <laughs> Mithril, honey, the path of pain. I've done the path of pain. It sucks, but also it's very rewarding. <laughs> I, I was I was kind of bored one day and I was like, oh, should I try the path of pain? Yeah, I probably should. Um, so I did, and it was not fun, but I I'm I'm glad I did it. What I did not, what I was not able to finish was the freaking flower quest. That was that was too much. That was too difficult. Ugh. Gecko, Path of Pain on Hollow Knight. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know which one. <laughs> I Dark Blaze, hey! Thank you for the sub, welcome. Welcome, thanks for becoming a regular. <laughs> Mithril, then you should understand that honey, the saws. Oh, the saws. <laughs> oh, those, that's what you mean by the saws. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it again. Maybe maybe it'll be better now that I've done it once. Fleek, your brain is so big I can see it from my house to Onyx. <laughs> Crimson Void, hey honey, would you spend $500 to save an orphan from the orphan crushing machine? Yes. <laughs> I would. You, why, why would there be an orphan crushing machine though, actually? Why? <laughs> Who made the orphan crushing machine? Why is it called the orphan crushing machine? Gecko, how can you manage to do Path of Pain but you can't even do the flower delivery? How? Flower delivery is a pain in the butt. I mean, like, if you have the the um, honey charm where it regens your health, like, you, if you're patient, you can get through it. Versus the uh, path, not the Path of Pain, the flower quest where if you get hit once by the environment or by an enemy, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, it destroys you mentally. <laughs> Dark Blaze, hi! How's it going? <laughs> Biscuits, I'd steal the part from an orphan crushing machine and sell them for $500 because it's an orphan crushing machine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mithril, because both are different paths to pain. It just happens that the one filled with saws and the other horrible path to pick instead of a nasty one. Yeah. They're both hard. Fleek, the orphan crushing machine is third worst thing to happen to that orphan. Only the third? That, that seems pretty high on the list, to be honest, of, of things that suck. <laughs> Bonk Atomic, thanks for that redeem. I gotta focus a bit more, otherwise this art's never gonna get done. <laughs> All right, let's... <clears throat> ara ara. <laughs> thanks, Bonk Atomic. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuits, alright, left at that. 
dreams. All right, I gotta head to bed. Gotta work tomorrow, and I gotta steal myself for retail. Thank you for streaming. Thanks for dropping by. Good luck at retail. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> Mithril, I did manage to do the flower quest, but I discovered too late that you could give the elder bug a flower to make him happy. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I want to give the elder bug a flower. He deserves it. He's such a good bug. Vortex, take care. Oh wait, never mind. Well, <laughs> what? You don't want me to take care? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not ending the stream. I was just saying bye to someone. Mithril, you can go up to the town and offer him the flower. You give it to him and he becomes super happy. Mm -hmm, that's really cute. I didn't know that beforehand, so maybe next time I play I'll, I'll bring it to him. Yeah. Booba. <laughs> Why am I so immature? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna order a capture card this week. Um, I have a couple more PC games, so I got time. But I wanna play um, Hollow Knight and um, Breath of the Wild. I miss that game. That game's so good. Aw, oh, Tiny, thanks for the ear, w ear wiggle redeem. Let's see. <laughs> Goblin King ears, yeah. <laughs> Goblin Girl, I'm very good at breaking Breath of the Wild in fun ways. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of weird ways you can break Breath of the Wild. I love watching the people who mod the game. It's so much fun. Uh, Mango, the most annoying quests in any video game are escort quests. NPCs are too slow for sprinting and too fast for walking. Yeah, they are. It sucks. Uh, a cute peach. Welcome to the tavern. Thanks for coming. Fiona, <laughs> happy wiggle. Hey, honey, I'm gonna redeem an ear wiggle and then I'm gonna call it a night because my head hurts too much. Take care and have fun drawing. Oh, take a rest, Fiona. Thank you so much for dropping by. But yeah, it's been good seeing you. Thanks for coming. Gecko, the only thing I remember about Breath of the Wild is that dumb speedrun in a nutshell v video. Oh, yeah. It's a funny video. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> there we go. Let's do this arm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Onyx, furbolgs are just big, invisible, chill goblins. Thoughts? Are furbolgs invisible? No, nah, no, they're not invisible. They're... Furbolgs. Invisible or nah? They're not invisible, but yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're... Human-sized goblins? Kinda? Fiona, of course, I love attending your streams and I can't wait to collab with you. See ya. See ya. Here now, if you like Breath of the Wild and can stand gacha games, you might like Genshin Impact. Oh yeah, I've heard that game. I've seen a lot of people play it. It looks a lot like Breath of the Wild in terms of its uh, lighting and environments. Goblin King, bonus action turn invisible. Oh, I didn't know that. That's really cool. Biscuits, the best escort quests to remember in I remember in a game was one where the guy ran through the dungeon wrecking everything was somewhat cathartic. Ah. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> when you don't have to worry about the NPC and making them sure they survive, it's nice. It's really nice. Onyx. Furbogs are at least seven feet tall and can turn invisible as a racial trait. Jeez. They're really tall. <laughs> That's cool, though. Goblins can disengage, but furbolgs literally just disappear. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, let's do legs. Wolfsbane, Genshin Impact, or as some people call it, Breath of the Waifu. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it looks neat. 
Um, I like the simplicity of Breath of the Wild, though. I don't, I don't know if my eyes can keep up with all the effects that happen in Genshin Impact. Kind of reminds me of like a... I can't remember. There was one game I played where my eyes hurt so much after playing because there were too many special effects when you hit something. It just hurt my brain too much. Um, was it Dead Cells? No, I don't think I've played Dead Cells. I have it though. Hmm. Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. Oh well. Mithril, I want to roleplay so much, but just can't find a table, and I'm not sure if my English is good enough to try an English one. Hmm. Well, I'm sure if you're open, if like if you wanted to, you could, if and you were open with your group about English not being your first language. Uh, I'm sure that you find a group that'd be willing to take you in and try to play some D and D. Brain, what did you do? <laughs> yeah, that's how you draw feet, right? That's a foot? Yeah, that, that's basically a foot. I don't know feet anatomy that well. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not bad. I feel like the anatomy needs to shift a little bit. Perspective's hard. Perspective's so hard. Biscuit, seriously, the NPC was level 70 in a level 25 area at a time when the max level in the game was 60. Don't know if that quest still exists. Even if it does, the game isn't as hard anymore, so no need for catharsis. Fleet, Dead Cells is one of the best action roguelites. I haven't played it. I do own it, um, but I haven't played it yet. Here now, that's totally fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gecko, let's not talk about the gacha. Oh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of gacha games, personally. I, I don't like when things are up to chance in, in terms of gameplay. gameplay. Um, I like it better when it's kind of like Sekiro, where it's like a little bit of skill-based. Where it's like you work hard and you earn it. Like, if, if that game, <laughs> if some of the games said, like, okay, after, like, 30 hours of playing, you get your favorite waifu, I would be more than down to play with it. Um, but because a lot of them are like, if you play 30 hours, you get to roll the dice and see if you might get that slim chance of receiving your waifu. And it's like, no, I don't have enough time to dedicate to that. Outlaw, I don't know why I dropped in on this stream, but I'm glad I stayed. Oh, thank you for coming. <laughs> I'm glad you stayed too. <laughs> Big Bird, do you like yogurt? Yes, I do. I love blueberry yogurt. It's really good. Plain yogurt's really good in curry. It just like thickens it up and makes it a really good sauce. I don't know how to draw feet. I think that's a foot. Yeah, that, that looks kind of like a foot. Four toes? Five toes? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Gecko, yeah, here I am playing Genshin right now. I have issues. Listen, listen, if you enjoy the game, there's nothing wrong with that. I personally just don't like, um, I'm not a huge fan of gacha games. Outlaw, welcome, welcome to the tavern. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Crimson Boy, the orphan crusher has claimed its first victim. Wait, who? Who did crush? <laughs> Here now. Yeah, I'd love it if you could get a character by completing their story quest or something, you know? Yeah, like a game. <laughs> Keter, hey honey, I'm back. Managed to free up some time to watch the rest of the stream. Nice. I'm gonna finish up the art here. And then I'm gonna probably call it a night after that. Let's see. I think there needs to be a bit more hip showing here for that anatomy to work out. Uh, yeah, that line. That line. Yeah, that should be good. 
hopefully. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Perspective wise. Needs a little bit of corrections, but not bad. Let's see. Gobble Girl, please don't let the Orphan Crusher take me. No, Gobble Girl, no! <laughs> You're not allowed to go with the Orphan Crusher. Who is running this Orphan Crusher? I'm gonna kick their butt. <laughs> Mango, it crushed Batman. Well, Batman can save himself. He's an adult. <laughs> Biscuits, what happens if a non-orphan enters the Orphan Crusher? Does it automatically turn off? Night and animate. Take it easy, okay? Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Hmm. North of the Earth, it, it crushes their parents. <laughs> it makes them into orphans. <laughs> Whoa, lyrical. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for the redeem, the song redeem. Uh, <laughs> do, do you have, uh, oh, Eye of the Storm from, um, from Monsters and Men. Let's, let's see if I remember how it goes. Because I remember I, I tried to learn it a bit. Let's see. I don't know the song too well, uh, but if you'd like, I can actually sing it next stream. Give me a little more time to learn it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I there's actually been a couple of people who have sent me songs to learn so that they can redeem it, and I don't mind doing that. Um, it, it just takes me a little bit more time to learn them. But yeah, Lyrical, if you'd like, I can try singing it again next stream. Gobble Girl, I still want a full solar waltz. <laughs> I, I don't know if I could sing the full song. Um, oops. Oops. <laughs> I keep opening different things when I need to open up my <laughs> my drawing stream. <laughs> Here now, I also really love using Badoo, she's so fun. But yeah, I've been trying to learn the full songs. Um, Solar Waltz would probably be only be a minute long song just because there's so much instrumentals in it. So it would still be a four, like, yeah, 45 seconds to a one minute song, but I don't mind trying to sing it again. But again, I still have to learn it. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe what I'll do is I'll record myself singing and posting it on Twitter. That way you got the full thing. Oberon, the Goblin King. Welcome, your majesty. Thank you for coming. And whoa, Terminator, hey, thank you for the sub. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, Gobble Girl, yes, you, <laughs> you what? <laughs> False king, you gotta fight. <laughs> Who is the true king of goblins? <laughs> there are a lot of goblin kings. There must be a lot of lands of goblins. Vortex, is that a pudding? Is that pudding? No? The, the art's me. <laughs> Lyrical, another king for the batch. 
the Amish goblin. I am the true king of goblins. <laughs> Gecko, okay, I need to ask, who besides me is not a goblin? Who not a goblin here? <laughs> goblin king. Do goblin kings even own land? Really? <laughs> Vortex. No, no, I mean it's honey ale in one hand and a bowl of something in the other. Ah. Vortex. I thought it was pudding. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> Flea. Wow, Gobble Girl can get a full song posted on Twitter, but I need to break my song to like six parts. How <laughs> unjust. <laughs> it's timed. I, I should probably specify in the um, the redeem, but it, I try to keep it around 30 seconds. That way it's not too, too long. Um, also, after 30 seconds, I found that I actually get nervous and I start to, my voice starts to crack. <laughs> Biscuits, I don't remember voting for any of y'all. <laughs> no one votes for the kings. Salem, <laughs> Kobold Salem. I know Goblin is in the name. <laughs> Oberon, in my defense, I'm more of a fey king, but... <laughs> Wolfsbane, I am not a goblin. Noted. Noted. Nine the nine! <laughs> Honey is the only true king slash queen. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> Gobble girl, now I want to hear it more. Tell you what... <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll record myself singing it, and I'll post it. <laughs> Because I think, I think I've almost got Solar Waltz fully down. I've almost got it fully down. There's a couple of notes I keep missing, but I've, I've mostly got it. If someone requests a song enough, maybe, maybe I'll just post it on Twitter so you can listen to it on loop as many times as you like. Dope as we OMG, I'm late. I lost track of time. Someone fill me in on what I've missed. Uh, we're having an argument on who's the actual Goblin King in my stream, so uh, I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> the wolves. A watery tart hanging, handing out swords is no basis for a form of government. <laughs> That's a good Monty Python reference. <laughs> oh, I forgot to draw on a sandcastle. I'll draw on a quick sandcastle. Whoa, Goblin King! Thank you for the 5 2 1 subs! Thank you! Thank you so much! I think it, did a hype train just get started? Oh wow, a hype train just started. <laughs> Aw, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> Cobalt Salem. Then there's this guy. <laughs> Cobble King. How about a gob handing out subs? Does that count? Oh, I did the thing again. Yeah, you did. You did it. <laughs> you did it, Sir Gerg. Or my Lord Gerg. <laughs> Gecko, Goblin King is trying to to bribe everyone so we would call him the true king. <laughs> to bribe, I think you mean. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me finish drawing this sandcastle. <laughs> Y'all can hash it out in the chat while I finish this off. Whoa, Onyx! <laughs> Thank you so- Whoa, there's a lot of things I missed. Uh, Oberon, the Goblin King. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub! Thank you! Thank you! Mango, thanks for the hundred bits! Thank you so much! <laughs> and Onyx, thank you so much for the five gifted subs! Thank you! You didn't have to, Onyx! Thank you! <laughs> Onyx not a goblin, but still competed for the crown. Whoa, kept my word! Thank you for the five subs. <laughs> Y'all are too nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, chivalrous Eric. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> Mithril. <laughs> I think the one who wins the Goblin Crown will gain the hand of our lovely barmaid as proxy. <laughs> I don't think you can bribe me with marriage. <laughs> also, if you're a king, a, a, a tavern's no place for a king to live. Her Keter, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh y'all are y'all are wild. Oh, thank you so much. 
then there's me here just like, oh, I, get, I better finish this art. And meanwhile, there's a war going on in my chat. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> Over on nonsense, a tavern is a fine place for a king. <laughs> Gerg. And besides, what would I do with my ship if I lived at a tavern? <laughs> good point, good point. Must be a glorious ship you live on. Oberon, a king cannot consort among the common rabble is who a king that cannot consort among the common rabble is no king worth supporting. Very true words. Very true, Oberon. You sound like a good king. Gobble girl, I'm not a king. Can I live in the tavern? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's open to most people. We got rooms. Gobble girl, I'll bring my wife. She's an elf. Nice. She's welcome. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> Uh, 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 biscuits, thanks for the hundred bits. Um, Metro Dweller, thank you for the, the 20 subs. Holy, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Mandy Lions, welcome to the tavern. Thanks for joining us, and thank you for the hundred bits. What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Dr. Blood, welcome. Thanks for joining us at the tavern here. Take a seat. Actually, you've been here the whole time. Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> North, that's a whole lot of five dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Salem, accept their love. It's hard to accept all this love. <laughs> it's, it's so much. <laughs> Doubles. Well, either way, Goblin King, without the gifts, you got my vote. I just need to get that out. I can't even begin to tell you how many lords and ladies claim their titles purely because of being given a magical weapon by some mystic being. <laughs> Whoa! Don't pass weave! <laughs> Thank you for the prime sub! Thank you! <laughs> Gecko, breathe slowly, honey. Deep breath. Don't panic. I'll try. <sighs> It's so much! <laughs> Bad book. Hi, honey. Big headed god making sandcastles. Cute. Yeah. I'm making sandcastles. <laughs> Biscuits. I'm I'm a lard by virtue of owning a square four of land in Scotland. Nice. Nice. That's pretty cool. Land in Scotland's nice. Onyx. A tier one sub is about $10 in my currency. Oh, yeah. It's different depending on where you are. I forgot about that. Keter, you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race, and I am a patient goblin, just you wait. <laughs> goblin King. Honey keeps trying to draw and it's our job to distract her. Listen, y'all are very distracting. I'm doing my best. I was drawing a sandcastle, and then I got immediately distracted. Welcome, crab army. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Mango, I will only acknowledge Goblin King Craig is my one true king. <laughs> Lyrical, I think Honey has lost the ability to calm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have definitely lost the ability to be calm. <laughs> it disappeared quite fast. <laughs> whoa, what? We're on a level 5 hype train. And it's 403% done. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Fleek, the entire chat is committing mischief. <laughs> I am the fool and the joke's on me. <laughs> Ooh. Mithril, well that's what gobbles do, don't they? Mischief, all over the place. Whoa, capital word! <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? What is going on? Capital word! Thank you for the 10,000 bits. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> ah! It's so much. You didn't have to. Thank you. <laughs> 
be okay. That's a hundred bucks. That's a hundred bucks! That's a lot of money! You didn't have to give it to me! <laughs> Kappa word, thank you! You didn't have to give me that much money! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tom, I think we broke the goblins. <laughs> Listen, anytime I get attention, I already freak out. <laughs> Bear, how big did Mark or someone make a hype train in the Unexpectables that one time? 3k percent? Level 5? Holy crap. I think we only, we reached 400% level 5. That's already so, so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor Tom, attention equal instant break. Good to know. Listen, I can't look at the number of people who are streaming or who are watching my stream <laughs> because I immediately get too nervous. <laughs> so I don't actually know how many people are here. <laughs> Fair, if a hundred is breaking, I don't know, should we summon probate? Who's probate? Is this someone I should know? Should I be worried? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh, I, I missed this, but Koriwa Virgox, welcome to the tavern. Thank you for joining us for this chaos. <laughs> Onyx, with Ketmo's bid thing, we got past 700 percent. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fleek, it, too, it's just me and Gobble Girl. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? I'm so lost. My brain is fried. <laughs> Vandas, thanks for the head pads redeem. I need them. I need them to calm down a little bit. <laughs> Give me some head pads so I can calm down a little bit and breathe. Thank you. <laughs> These are nice. <laughs> Kobol, Salem, thanks for the posture check. Let me let me get on that real quick. So I can breathe. Oh. Oberon, I'm not actually here, I'm just a hallucination. <laughs> I would not be surprised the way <laughs> the the way my brain's working right now. <sighs> Gecko, does singing calm you down? Uh, uh, not sometimes. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Usually when I'm, I'm stressed out, I just try to breathe. Breathing is pretty good. Whew. Doctor Blood, I swear to, to every time I go to a stream, someone drops large money for gifting stuff. It's really nice to see people's reactions though. <laughs> Understandable. I can imagine how throwing money at other people would be really, really fun. <laughs> Camel word spoiled the cup. Camel word, no, it's okay. Don't spoil me anymore. It's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> Please, it's okay. <laughs> so, wolves, are any of us real? What is real? <laughs> Talk to your blood. I wish it was real. Are you not? Are you not real? <laughs> Gecko, okay, then I will wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, maybe wait a bit. <laughs> Vera for 99. This is also reminding me of that one time another D&D &D fantasy artist got raided by Wormwood Academy. Wormwood Academy. That sounds so familiar. Why, why am I not remembering what Wormwood Academy is? Wormwood D&D. Yeah, that's probably it. Is Wormwood Academy a company? Like a dice company? Sony Oliver! Hey! Welcome, welcome! Thank you for coming to the tavern adventure! <laughs> oh, these headpads are nice. Oh, these are nice. <laughs> Metro Dweller, thanks for the hydrate! Let's take a sip. Mm, excuse me. Savage Chill, one of the big. Uh, do you ever wonder why we're here? <laughs> one of the big questions that nobody can answer. What's real? Why we're here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answers to life. Dr. Blood, or the bigger question, why is real? <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm Garrick. 
Welcome. Welcome to the tavern. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Mithril. To answer your question, Probate is a very generous dude. He sometimes drops big bits on streamer he's on streams he's on. Oh wow. Well that must that's really generous of him. You don't need to add him at me. It's totally fine. It's 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 totally fine. It's okay. I'm good. <laughs> Gecko, we're here to admire cute gobbling me. <laughs> cute giggling coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I think this drawing's about done. I'll show it off real quick. Uh, there it is. Gobble the sandcastle. I really like it. I think it turned out real good. But yeah, let's uh, switch over real quick to here. Whoop. Aha. There we go. <laughs> Mango, honey, I'm not leaving right now, but in the near future I will be leaving for several months and I won't have internet access. Don't give up on streaming while I'm gone. I can't wait to see how much your channel grows. Aw, thank you, Mango. Yeah, I don't plan on stopping streaming soon. Or <laughs> just I don't plan on stopping streaming anytime soon. So take care of yourself while you're out there. Um, I'll, hopefully I'll see you soon. Whoa, Gecko! Thank you for the hundred bits! Thank you! <laughs> That's so nice! All right, I'm gonna readjust my camera real quick Just so I can get a better Better view of y'all You can hear the rattling of my Oops My stand <laughs> Oh, I really want to re-watch re some Jojo. It's so much fun. I think they added a little bit more on Netflix, but I'm not sure which country's Netflix, so I'll just have to look at my VPN. Here we are. Whoop. There we go. That's a little better. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. There we go, just moving over the chat so I can read it a little better for a little bit. While we cool down a little. Whew. I still have to calm down after all that. <laughs> it was so much. Y'all are really nice, but you spoil me too much sometimes. You don't need to. It's okay. Wish Dune, I was told not to watch JoJo. Oh, really? I find it very entertaining. Uh, it's it's weird. It's it kind of it's a well, it's not too old actually, but it's it's very very entertaining. <laughs> There's some good memes that came out of it. Terminator, because you deserve it. Oh, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Keter, how much of a JoJo? How much of JoJo have you seen? I've seen all of it um, from season one all the way up to what it's currently being released. I'm waiting for the new arc with Jolene. Oh, I'm so excited. I do love Diamond is Unbreakable. I think that's my favorite. Fleek, honey, it's been a while since you've shown us your other outfit. Is there a reason for that? Not really. Um, I actually updated this model because uh, my other models, um, their expressions haven't been updated. So with this one, I have a more flexible fear um, emote because the other one I have um, doesn't allow me to smile. Uh, let's see. This one's also more flexible now. You don't need to spoil me. I'm okay. But yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. This one hasn't changed much. I'm just a sweaty gob. <laughs> I'm always a little bit sweaty. My, my hands are a little sticky because I'm nervous now. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Poor Tom, honey, you're the nicest goblin ever met besides Gary from West of Loathing. I haven't seen West of Loathing, um, but thank you. That's very kind of you. Wish tune. I guess I haven't been convinced to watch it. That's fair. It's not for everyone. Vortex, I read somewhere that goblins like to eat ducks, so I have to say, what is in the bowl <laughs> is duck souffle. <laughs> no, it's like ducks, duck ramen soup. <laughs> I love soup. Soup's great. Blue shoes. The new anime is pretty new. Yeah, the 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 um, 
The one with Rohan for Jojo? I haven't watched that one yet. It's on Netflix now. Goblin King. Hey, that's Smile. Fear and Smile Yandere. <laughs> Let me see if I can do it again. I would say it's more nervousness. <laughs> it's like moist goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Moist. Ooh, what a weird word. Onyx, honey is non-perishable, therefore it's impossible to spoil honey. No, that's not true. You can totally spoil me. But no, no, the then Onyx. <laughs> you don't have to spoil me. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Loki the Coyote, welcome to the tavern. Thank you so, so much for dropping by. And Jadactillion, hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. Take, take our load off, relax. Poor Tom, redemption for Fugo. <laughs> Mithril, okay, you heard the combo was spoiler. No! Onyx, see what you made me do. Onyx. Over on Moist Goblin, Goblin Soup. S soon, I'll have to create the assets for a cauldron stream. I think it's gonna be fun. Oh, I'm so excited. That also means I have to make a bathing suit model, so... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Doubles, the more <laughs> you say don't spoil, the more you we want to spoil. No, you don't have to, though. It's okay, you don't have to. It's totally fine. It's, it's fine if you just wanna hang out. If you just wanna come on to my streams and hang out, you don't have to give me money. It's okay. <laughs> Poor Tom Chat breaks breaks a lot of streamers by spoiling them from what I noticed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. But like also like make sure to spend your money on yourself too. <laughs> go go out for a nice little little dinner. Like go go buy some fancy vegetables and make a dinner for yourself. That's what you can spend your money on. Yeah, spoil yourself. Heater, honey, you should host a watch party when part six comes out. Uh, that would be super fun, and I definitely want to see your reactions. Ooh, yeah. I think that'd be fun. Um, whenever I, uh, right now, that guy and I, um, we're watching the Owl House on Discord. Like, we just do Discord voice chats, and we watch the episodes that come out. It's really, really fun. So if you want to, you can join the Discord and watch those. I, if you haven't watched the previous seasons, that's okay. Um, but if you want to, it's a very, very good show. Savage Chill Honey EXE has stopped working. <laughs> I, it's, huh. Lyrical, it's okay if we want to hang out, but what if we want to spoil you? I don't know how to react to that. Uh, hey, Graham, how's it going? <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Uh, Mango, what was that you said, honey? You spend my entire paycheck on you? Sure, no problem. No, Mango, no, no, Mango, no. It's okay, no, it's fine. <laughs> Pink ellipse. Bet your bathing suit will be really cute. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, I'm super excited to make it. It's gonna be fun. I'll have to decide what kind of bathing suit to make, too. Ooh, maybe I'll do a pole. That could be really fun. Or else Cove. Cove is really good at drawing bathing suits. This not ace. Welcome to the tavern. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Gobble girl, our owl house watch parties was so fun. Yeah, it was really fun. The Doombringer. That's a real badass name. Welcome. Oh, an adventurist. Hey, welcome, welcome, adventurers. Thanks for coming by. Send other. Anything? Anyone else think Amity's mom is hot? Hmm. She's pretty. That's for sure. Um. <laughs> Personality-wise, not what I'm into. <laughs> the Doombringer Goblin? Hey, it's me. <laughs> that anime girl, Haya! How are you doing? I hope you're doing pretty good. Crab Army, uh, favorite JoJo part? I love um, the Cars arc, or the, the, the second one with Joseph. That's a really fun one. But Diamond is Unbreakable is probably my favorite because j, j I think it's Jotaro. Jotaro is Diamond is Unbreakable. Is such, such a good character. 
so such a good boy he just wants to do good and take care of his hair and i could appreciate that poor tom okay if you're a goblin say hello hello <laughs> Gobble girl, everyone was so nice during the Owl House watch party. It was actually like the most fun I've had in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun to watch the uh, episodes together. It's a good time. Paranoid Corgi, instructions unclear, sold all mortal possessions for honey. No! <laughs> no! No! To keep your mortal possessions, they're important. You, you need to take care of yourself. <laughs> Gecko, I'm more scared of what kind of swimsuit Cove would give you. Cove has good taste. <laughs> Maybe like a fantasy swimsuit, one of those weird ones. I, I think they'd be fun. Gobble Girl, also, by the way, I don't think you should use it, but you should know there's a virgin killer swimsuit. Ooh, I have to check it out. I might not use it, but I have to check it out. <laughs> fun, she's a magic Karen. Oh yeah, Amity's mom. She's a magic Karen. Poor Tom. You know what, honey? You being a JoJo fan just earned you another follower. I'm sold. Oh, thank you. Battle tendency. Josuke. Ah, okay. I do get the two names mixed up, but I know I know which one's part of which. <laughs> it, it, it is the fact that they both start with Joe. It kind of throws me off a little bit. My bad. Josuke is my B. This not ace. I'm guessing you don't read JoJo manga, but watch the anime only? Yeah, I've watched it. Um, I haven't read it, so if it's different, I cannot say I know what happens. Hey, Millie Moth, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. And poor Tom, hey. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Sorkon puts spleen on eBay. No! <laughs> Y'all, I've fallen so far behind this chat. Y'all are going so fast. Fleek, instructions clear, but still choose to sold more to possession for gob. No. Fleek, keep your money. Take care of yourself. Keep your money. Please. <laughs> Doombringer, it's funny that the Jojo and Giorno's name is lost in translation. Oh yeah, it is! <laughs> I forgot about that. I, can't, like, I, I just watched that one. And honestly, Bruno feels more like the main character than Giorno. But Giorno is also pretty fun. Mango, too late. I have already signed contract to hand over my firstborn child, honey. <laughs> I don't want your firstborn. It's okay. You can have your own firstborn. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Fantastic Leia. Welcome to this Stafford adventure. Thank you so, so much for joining us. Whew, Winter Zero. Hi. It's going good. Chat's being super nice and super, super kind. I... <laughs> I don't know how to react. <laughs> Craving biscuits. Cheer, firstborn child. <laughs> oh. Fleek, firstborn child are the worst currency. You can't even buy anything off Amazon with them. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's almost like giving your firstborn is... <laughs> them, them taking on more work than actually is worth. Uh, Gecko, can we talk about the fact that Giorno is 16 when he joins the Mafia? Oh, he is. He's just a teen. Wait, how old is Bruno then? Bruno must be in his 20s at least. I think. I don't know. The, the interesting thing about Jojo's style is like, I can never quite tell how old everyone is unless they state their age. Like, Josuke I knew was a teenager. Uh, because he was, went, went to middle school. But like Jotaro, I did not know was a teenager until they introduced him and said he was missing like high school classes. And I'm like, that's a high schooler? He's jacked. Wow. What are the, the that design? He's got big old shoulders for a 16 year old. Fleek, Bruno's the team mom, yes. <laughs> Bruno is one of my absolute favorite characters. That and Mista, I love Mista. I, it's still so funny that I didn't realize that on top of his head was the penis. <laughs> because he's named after the Sex Pistols. Ugh. It took me forever to get that. Savage Chill, the corn-fed Joe Star Boys. <laughs> Mr. Azura, do you ever take commissions for avatars? Uh, yes, I do. Like, for, for live 2D models? Yeah, I do. Uh, my commissions are currently full. 
so I won't be taking any more for a little bit, but I'll, I'll post on Twitter and in my Discord when I open up commissions again. So, probably not for another at least month and a half. Keter, Giorno is 15. Fifth. He's a baby. <laughs> this no days. You gonna watch part six when it comes out next year? Yes. Ooh, I'm so excited for Jolene. She looks so cool. Her voice actress is beefy as heck. Oh, her voice. Like, well, let me see if I can do it. I can do it. Yari, yari, doa. <clears throat> let me sip some water real quick. Excuse me. Goblin King. Jolene hype. Yeah, I'm so excited. She's so cool. But it's, how does it go? She's like, yara yara da wa. <laughs> I can't go that deep. Let me try again. Yara yara da wa. I keep messing up the last uh, kanji. <laughs> or katakana. Goblin King. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tom, fun fact. What's your fun fact? What you got? <laughs> Ooh, here we go. The Doombringer. Can we talk about how disgustingly overpowered Heaven's Door is? Yeah, it's pretty powerful, but not really in combat. It's powerful outside of combat. So if, like, if, if, um, if Kira had been found using Heaven's Door earlier, and like Heaven's Door was used before the actual like violent stuff happened, then yeah, totally, it's overpowered. But Heaven's Door just by itself is like, it's a mystery solving tool. It's not actually for fighting. <laughs> Doombringer, anyone fights? Look at my drawing and you win. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I guess that's true. <laughs> Onyx, fun fact, you cannot stop us from supporting you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you. You can support me. But, uh, gosh. You don't have to support me financially. It's totally fine. But thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> oh. Very fair for 99. Heaven's door is utility. Yeah. <laughs> the Doombringer. Use Heaven's door. Then they stop. It's then written that your opponent cannot hurt you. Yeah, isn't that what he used on, um... Kiri... Mm. The one with, uh, gravity powers. Oh, I've forgotten his name. Dang, I can't believe I've forgotten his name. He was a cool character. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Poor Tom, fun fact. A fit... I Feruz got into voice acting because of Jojo. Ooh! I fair ruse. What do they do? I'm I'm not sure what they do. Supermarket. <laughs> hey, welcome to the tavern. Take a seat. Relax. Thanks for coming. <laughs> the Doombringer. Part four, he gave the shot uh the shot one the ability to speak Italian just by writing that he could. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's a really cool one. Ai Faruz is going to be Jolene's voice actor. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, then that's really cool. Dang. <laughs> well, all right. Um, <laughs> I got to get going. I got to get ready to go to sleep soon. I got to make sure I eat and I finish up that art. Uh, so I will send y'all over to Pompino, a real great VTuber. She's playing Sims 4 right now. Uh, hopefully her stream doesn't end as soon as I send you over like last time uh, <laughs> Fleek before you do I have a joke. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. What's the joke? <laughs> Mango fun fact. I am actually a tier 3 sub to you even though I don't really have it set up yet. Oh really? <laughs> Well, thank you <laughs> Fleek knock knock. All right knock knock Who, who's there? <laughs> Nice to meet y'all. Thank you so much for coming by. Fleek. Yeah. Yahoo. Oh, come on. <laughs> nice to see y'all. I'll, I'll post my schedule on Twitter tomorrow as well as on, I'll update it on Twitch today, tomorrow. <laughs> Dang it, Fleek, you got me. <laughs> Dang it, I 
can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> okay, y'all have fun at Pumpies. Say hi to me, okay? <laughs> See y'all soon. Bye. <laughs>